Hi guys, welcome back. You are back in my backyard. It's a Saturday, it's a beautiful day. We've had a great morning here so far at the Olinger household. Um, I wanna start with a joke like I always do, but I just have to forewarn you that remember in the backyard you might hear my dogs barking. So I will try not to laugh or get distracted. Okay, my joke. What is the king of the classroom? What school supply is the king of the classroom? Think about that. The ruler, get it? The ruler, king, king of the classroom. Okay, before I start, I am not gonna read a new chapter book for primary until Monday, so that's two days away. So hopefully you will be watching this because I want you to vote. So the first choice is a new Judy B. Jones book and Judy B. Jones and that Meanie Jim's birthday would be one choice. Or Judy B. Jones loves Handsome Warren. So both of those are hilarious, funny books, and they're, remember you can take AR tests on these books from home now. So email me, miolinger at fruitvale.net, and let me know which one of those two books you'd like, and I will start on Monday. All right, but today I'm going to read two No David books. No David books are quick reads by David Shannon, a little backstory about David Shannon. When he was a kid, he would write and draw pictures, and the only words he sent his mom had sent these old pictures from when he was a kid to him when he was a grown-up. So he was looking back at all these pictures and the only words that he could write at the time were no and David. So those were kind of his inspiration for these books. Just a quick backstory. So, okay, this is called No David. And you'll find out that David gets in a lot of trouble in this book. Okay, No David by David Shannon. David's mom always says, no, David. No, David. And it will take me a minute to get into the rhythm of turning pages. No, David. I wouldn't want that mud in my house either. No, no, no. I also wouldn't want to clean up that bathtub mess. Come back here, David. <laughs> David, be quiet. Don't play with your food. That is a potato, my goodness. That's enough, David. Go to your room. Oh no. Looks like David got in trouble. Settle down. And this is in his room. Stop that this instant. Okay, this is probably my grossest page. Mrs. Olinger's least favorite. Put your toys away. It looks like he's a little distracted by the TV. Not in the house, David. I don't think playing baseball in the house is ever a good idea, kids. I said, no, David. Okay, now I want you to look at his face. He does not look happy. Davy, come here. And what does mom say the whole time? No, no, no. But here she says, yes, David. I love you. So the first No David book, and then the second book, David Shannon, is David Gets in Trouble. He seems like a mischievous little boy. Okay, when David gets in trouble, he says, no, it's not my fault, which is what a lot of kids say, I think. I didn't mean it. It was an accident. 
Do I have to? I forgot. Now, look what he forgot. <laughs> His pants. <laughs> my dog ate my homework. I couldn't resist. And if you look carefully, he's the only one who couldn't resist making a silly face in the class picture. I was hungry. Dog <coughs> treats? <coughs> That's Kelvin. But she likes it. Not quite sure that's true. It slipped. But dad says it. Okay, so soap in the mouth is a good indication that he must have said a bad word. Yikes. Excuse me. And a giveaway that he burped in this page is you can see the wind is blowing the flame and the flowers in the vase. So that means it was a loud belch. No, it wasn't me. What's the clue that it was? Yep, chocolate on the face. And then in the middle of the night, yes, it was me. So he woke up in the middle of the night, probably feeling pretty bad. And so he said, I'm sorry. So those are some quick, fun picture books that will get you through on the very last page. I love you, Mom. Okay, no David books. I think you can take AR tests on those. I'm not sure if you're doing that at home. Don't forget to email me with your choice of Junie B. Jones books. And until um, tomorrow, I, will, I hope you guys have a good day.